Christine McGuinness has been making the most of the single life since splitting from Patty McGuinness, and has now opened up about her new relationship. Christine McGuinness has been radiating positivity and looking fantastic, despite parting ways from her comedian husband Patty McGuinness two years earlier. Despite the split, the erstwhile couple still share their Cheshire residence, where they continue to co-parent their three children. Lately, Christine expressed that she's thoroughly enjoying her newfound single status. At 36, she revealed her pleasure in diving back into dating, sporting what she refers to as a busy dating diary. Her children, a set of 11-year-old twins named Leo and Penelope, along with 8-year-old Felicity, all have autism. Christine herself was diagnosed with the condition in 2021, an insight that helped her life make sense. In light of Disability History Month, Christine sheds light on disability representation in prominent TV shows such as Strictly Come Dancing. The Blackpool-born beauty discusses with New why she's not yet ready to strap on her dancing shoes, despite being approached, and divulges what personal discoveries she's made since she started navigating the dating scene once again. With recent series of Strictly featuring celebrity contestants with disabilities, Christine shared whether she's been invited and if she feels she'd make a fitting ambassador for the show, reports OK. Magazine. She said, Everyone always asks, but I honestly don't know. The thought of a live audience terrifies me, and when people look at me, I feel they think, oh, well, she can't be autistic because she's done an underwear shoot, so she's fine. But much of it is internal. It's like being a swan. Calm on the surface, paddling furiously underneath. I appear calm, but my heart is racing. I participated in the real Full Monty, which had a strictly theme the year I was involved, for breast cancer awareness. I was doing it for my mom, so I had that drive to push through. ASKD if she would be making more autism documentaries with the BBC she said. I would love to. I can't confirm anything right now but I am open-minded when it comes to what to do next. I love making documentaries. I'd love to explore more hidden disabilities, such as dyspraxia, ADHD and dyslexia.